I hope that all of the creativity which you have put on display will find its way to where it is most needed. To have the instinct of curiosity is a great gift. That's what shows in the exhibits. And to be in an environment then where it is encouraged is a further fantastic opportunity. When I look at the list of the 550 exhibits here in the RDS, I'm ever more convinced in my belief that we in Ireland are so gifted to have so many young people in this country who promise, give us the prospect of becoming problem solvers, critical thinkers, and persistent learners. The excitement is building today, and as you can see, lots of activities. Obviously, the big event, the president is opening the uh, opening ceremony and opening speech today, his first of a second term, which is great. But we also have two other big uh, VIPs visiting. We've got uh, the Taunishta, Simon Coveney's coming in, and the Minister for Education, Joe McHugh, is coming in, so as well as the excitement building with all the schools arriving. I'm only here about 20 minutes and already we're covering everything from sustainable tourism to coastal erosion. It just shows you exactly where this current generation is at. They're very, very conscious of the environmental issues, very, very conscious of protecting our future. Um, and uh, I, I must say, initially, I'm, I'm very impressed. This is a massive international event. Uh, I was in Nairobi two years ago. I launched the Young Scientists in Nairobi. Um, there's, a, there's an appetite throughout Europe as to looking at this uh, type of a model, and it's, it's, it's excellent. And to everybody that, that's driven this, uh, obviously the young people themselves and their teachers, but uh, to BT and, and all the people that's involved, this, this is a tremendous success story. In our school, a couple of students began a reusable plastic water bottle initiative and this really helped the plastic pollution problem in our school, but it didn't solve it completely and we believe that replacing plastic with a better alternative and more properties is the answer to the plastic pollution problem. We created graphene in our own school and then we created a version of graphene reinforced plastic and then we tested properties such as conductivity and strength. We found out like the many properties of graphene and that it's actually more conductive and stronger than plastic. Graphene is definitely safe for the environment and we want to gradually start introducing it to replace plastic. 